everybody. I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm back with another requested reading. And two of you guys have asked me to do a reading on Laura Loomer. So the first comment is, could you see about Laura Loomer and Marjorie Taylor Greene feud? And the second comment, I wonder if Laura Loomer and 45, that's Trump, are having an affair. <laughs> Would Loomer help flop or boost his political career? What is the feeling of the majority of the GOP in Congress after the debate? Do Trump's campaign managers agree with Loomer being in his ears? How do they feel about Trump's debate's performance? Does Trump have many secret enemies? <laughs> okay, so let's start with the first comment. Let's see what's going on with Laura Loomer and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Okay, so we have Laura Loomer here and Marjorie Taylor Greene on this other side. Okay, so this is Laura Loomer, and this is Marjorie. Let's see, Laura. Judgment. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. And the Nine of Cups. Let's see Marjorie Taylor Green, the Five of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Five of Cups. She really hates it, Marjorie Taylor Green, and the Eight of Pentacles. So definitely I see from Marjorie Taylor Greene a huge, huge disappointment. And somehow Trump hanging out with uh, Laura Loomer, it's being perceived as a loss for Marjorie Taylor Greene. And with this loss energy here, the both the Five of Pentacles and Five of Cups, I think she thinks that this relationship, she the, the lovers here... I think that this relationship, she thinks that this relationship will cause this loss for Trump. And I don't know, we'll ask about it later, but I think that Marjorie Taylor Greene may think that, here with the lovers, may think that there's more to Laura Loomer's connection with Trump, that there's this lovey-dovey <laughs> energy here. So for Marjorie Taylor Greene, with these cards... It's like she feels it's a loss for her for all the effort and work here <laughs> with the Eight of Pentacles that she put into everything. Um, so she she perceives this loss for herself, but also she thinks that it's a loss for Trump uh, if he's going to continue listening to her. Um, and have this close connection to her. So huge, huge disappointment here for Marjorie Taylor Greene. And for Laura Loomer cards here with the judgment. I think she has judgment and criticism. Not only towards Marjorie Taylor Greene. But to, towards a group, a collective. Because I'm seeing here the Ten of Cups. Like a, a, a group. So she has this judgment. On certain people, maybe from from within the Republican Party, and she she's kind of pleased with herself with this nine of cups. She's very satisfied with what she achieved um, with Trump to influence him, and she feels like she's very supportive and very reliable here with this Queen of Pentacles. Uh, 
So from from her car, from this energy, she's very judgy towards others, uh, including Marjorie Taylor Greene, and very happy and pleased with herself <laughs> and with uh, her influence. Yeah, so this is what I can see about Laura Loomer and Marjorie Taylor Greene. Clearly they hate each other. Now let's go for the other comment. Uh, okay, let's see if Laura Loomer and Trump are having an affair. What's going on there? So we have Laura on the side and Trump here. Okay, let's see. Laura. The Sun card. The Knight of Wands. The Five of Wands. And the Magician. Very manipulative energy. And all this fire element here. The Knight of Wands and Five of Wands. And then the Sun, it's also fire. It was like burning. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see Trump. Eight of Wands. Also fire energy. The Death card. Mm. <laughs> the Fool. Yeah, and the Page of Wands. It's like youthful. Female, I think it's uh, appealing to him. And you know, the Eight of Wands, I can also see this as impulse, instinct. This could also be like sexual attraction. Um, it's kind of like the force, like oh, this overwhelming energy that comes in. He has the full card. And then she has the magician, so she's very manipulative of him, and he's foolish enough, even though like he usually is the one that manipulates uh, people in this dynamic. Um, I see her manipulating Trump. And with the sun card here, you know this can symbolize Trump's ego. It's the sun symbolizes ego, the male ego. And Trump has his ascendant in Leo. And Leo is ruled by the sun. So I'm seeing this as Trump's ego. So she knows how to tickle his ego. And with this knight of wands being wands, fire energies, like she knows she's how to energize him. And with this five of wands, the battle, this is competition. Maybe it's like she feels in competition with certain people over having power and influence um, with Trump. And for Trump here with the death card, uh, you know, this can also be a symbol for fearing of what's coming, the inevitable. And... This is like the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Maybe he foolishly grabs on to, to Loomer, whatever bullshit here Loomer is saying, is spewing. Um, and maybe foolishly grabs on to that, thinking that this, this will save him. I'm getting a sense of like a fear. Having to face the inevitable, and maybe that's why this this desperation, that fear, and in this dynamic with Trump and Laura rumor, I see Laura as being the manipulative person, and Trump is the fool because she knows how to tickle his ego, but I don't see a relationship like in a serious sense here between them 
I, I think it's more like a play. He's feeling this attraction towards her. Um, and she's manipulative. And for her, it's like a, a contest, a competition. But uh, from these cards, I'm not seeing like a relationship, like a romantic connection. It's more manipulation on her side and foolishness and impulsivity on his side. And she knows how to control him by flattering him, telling him what, what he wants to hear. So with all this wands energy here, the fire energy, it, it could be sexual energy. So there might be an affair like this. But I'm not getting that relationship -y vibe from it. I'm getting a feeling of more like a play, a game. All right, now let's see the other question. If uh, Laura Loomer will help flop or boost his <laughs> political career. So let's see, what are the effects of her influence over Trump? Will this be helpful for him in any way or not? Okay, now let's see. This is Trump. Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Six of Swords. <laughs> and Ten of Swords. And let's see her. The Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups again. The nine. And the Temperance. So from this card, the message is pretty clear. Definitely it's not good for Trump. Her influence is malefic. The, this Ten of Swords, Six of Swords is going to have bad effects for Trump. Um, could be with the Ten of Swords, the betrayal. Maybe certain people will feel betrayed. And Trump here with this Eight of Pentacles... This could have the energy of like focusing on certain things, but like missing to see the bigger picture, failing to see other aspects that may be important. And he's being manipulated by this, like the Page of Pentacles, like the younger female. And for her, with this Nine of Cups again, I'm getting a feeling like she's very content with herself. Um... And with the influence she has, not only on Trump, but also on this, like, a group of people I'm seeing with this Ten of Cups. She feels like she's in control with this temperance about balancing, controlling something. So she, she feels powerful. And with Machiavelli here, the Nine of Swords, like, she's being shrewd and manipulative. Um, yeah, so the conclusion for this definitely is bad. She has a bad influence on Trump and it's not going to help him at all. All right, now let's see the other question. Um, do Trump campaign managers agree with Loomer being in his ears? So let's see, how do they feel about Trump being so close to Laura Loomer? Okay, so let's see these other campaign managers. 
the strength card, the star, the six of pentacles, and the queen of pentacles. I think it's challenging with the strength card, but they have to make this compromise. They're forced to make a compromise. Um, let's see. Trump. The devil. The page of pentacles. So th they see that she has a bad influence on him with the devil. So maybe in a way they feel like he's trapped, he's bound. Um, and he feels like he's getting the support, this four of wands, from her, the page of pentacles. And it's because he's disappointed. Maybe it's Trump's disappointment with his campaign managers. And there's not much that they can do. They have to, to make this compromise and accept this. And still hope here with the star that maybe things will, will turn in their favor. The star card can also symbolize distance. So maybe Trump detached from, from his campaign managers because he found solace here and support with Laura Loomer. And that's why this the star, the distance. Um, they can't really do much. I, I don't think they like it because this is like a challenging energy and being forced in a way to compromise. But let's pull one more card. And let's ask how do they feel about Laura Loomer. Oh, Five of Cups. Yeah, not good. They really dislike her. Just like Marjorie Taylor Greene, she also had this card, this Five of Cups. So they also think that she's having a bad influence on him. And that's why this loss energy. It feels in a way like accepting defeat, accepting that there's not much that they can do. They know that she has a bad influence on him, but they have to compromise because this they can't really reach Trump. He's uh, distant here. He's not willing to listen. So, yeah, the conclusion is that they think she's not helping Trump. It's quite the opposite, and they don't like her. Um, okay, let's see the other question. How do his campaign managers feel about Trump's debate performance? Okay, let's see. So this is the campaign managers. The the three of swords, eight of pentacles, the chariot, three of wands. So definitely like a big disappointment here with this three of swords. And they have some type of plan on how to take control again, take the reins, maybe try to gain uh, some type of influence over Trump. The three of Wands here to adapt, to change something, to try something new. They're focused here to work, to do their job. Um, let's see. Six of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. So this King of Wands, I could see Trump being impulsive and angry, uh, very intense. He's also feeling this um, loss of disappointment. 
Again, we see a female here, the Queen of Wands. This could be Laura Loomer whispering in his ear, giving him ideas. Um, so yeah, overall there's like a bad energy, but like there's like this desperate need from the campaign managers to take the reins, to take control and to fix the situation somehow. The three of wands is like moving on from that. And also the chariot is moving on, moving on. So yeah, they don't feel great about Trump's performance. Um, now let's see the other question. How? What is the feeling of the majority of the GOP in Congress after the debate? Okay, so let's see. On this side, we have the GOP Congress members. Two of Cups, King of Pentacles, the Hangman, and the Three of Pentacles. Let's see the other card, Justice, King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. So here on this side for the GOP Congress members after the debate, I feel like that they're focusing their energy and their attention into anything that they can do because the City of Pentacles is collaboration, working, putting efforts, the King of Pentacles putting support and also the Two of Cups um, showing support to Trump and working together but at the same time they're kind of observing here with this hangman um there's not much that they can do when it comes to certain things and they see trump here with the justice like the trials that he has to go through and this is burdening him is weighing on him, this two ten of wands. And they observe also here the Queen of Pentacles. I see this as Laura Loomer having an influence on Trump. So from these cards, I'm getting a feeling like they see what's happening. They're aware this is the observer. But at the same time, they do not want to be discouraged. It's like they're putting all their efforts into keep on going and keep supporting Trump and focusing on what needs to be done, not wanting to be discouraged, something like this. So I feel like that they're making an effort to move on and they still hope and think that they have a good chance yeah so now let's see the last question uh, does Trump have many secret enemies Okay, now let's see. This is Trump. Star. Six of Swords. Four of Swords. <laughs> Seven of Swords. Now let's see. Let's see the influences. Chariot. The Emperor. Ooh. The King of Wands. The Knight of Swords. So from these cards. Here, when the outside influences, these are his enemies. Not only he has many secrets enemies, 
more important is that he has powerful secret enemies. The chariot in the emperor, people who want power for themselves, but they would use Trump in a way to get power. And here with the Knight of Swords, again, the Machiavelli, and then this King of Wands. Um, very intense energy fight. Um, so yeah, there are these powerful people that are using Trump. Because Trump, we see him here with a star. Like He's the star. He's the one that appeals to the masses. But these people want to manipulate him somehow to get what they want and then they want to be in power and trump is aware of this with the seven of swords here it's like he knows that they go on behind his back and they have their secret plans and trump is also trying to plan and to scheme to make sure that he's not being caught off guard um, this is about being calculated. Uh, trying to figure out a solution. Here are the Six of Swords. To navigate these waters. Yeah, so the conclusion from this is that Trump does have many secret enemies, but more importantly, they're very powerful. Um... And Trump knows it. So it could be that they're all scheming <laughs> against each other. Like these powerful people that want to use Trump. They're scheming against him. Then Trump has also his own schemes here on how to deal um, with them. So yeah, it, it's a tense situation here. It's a struggle. Yeah, so this is what I could see for this reading so thank you guys for watching thank you for your support i appreciate all of you and i will see you guys soon take care and have a beautiful day